I'm reasonably, but not absolutely sure. I've never stressed the two Leoc 200 amp hour AGM batteries in my camper van, which are charged relentlessly by a Panasonic N325 solar panel linked via a Victron MPPT 130 charge controller, albeit for the majority of the time in the Scottish weather. However, as I'm about to experiment with harvesting the energy from the batteries overnight to use in the house during the day, whenever the camper is parked up, I wanted to make sure that they never dropped below a 50% state of charge, hence the purchase of the Victron Smart Battery Connect. I went for the simplest install with the live lead directly from the batteries redirected via an 80 amp midi fuse to the in connector on the battery connect. Whilst just over Victron's recommended 50 centimeters from the battery, the wire is welding grade thickness as is the earth cable, so there's no real voltage loss. From the Victron charge protect the live cables then attach to the first of two fuse boxes. The live cable then continues across to the other side of the van to a second fuse box. Each of the fuse boxes services either side of the van. The included ground terminal goes from the Victron unit to where the battery ground lead is connected to the first fuse box. And as with the live cable, a ground cable also passes to the second fuse box and on both fuse boxes the ground lead is also attached to the vehicle's chassis as are both batteries under the seat. Prior to commissioning the battery protector we searched the best settings for the under voltage shutdown and the under voltage restart to ensure the batteries did not fall below a 50% state of charge. The Victron presets seem to bear zero relationship to AGM batteries with what must be a bias towards lithium batteries and this further reinforces the decision to buy the smart version of the unit rather than the basic version because you can easily apply custom settings via the Victron Connect app. I did send an email to Victron about AGM settings and this produced a less than useful response unfortunately. Given that battery voltages at rest and under load are different and assuming that my AGM batteries are at 50% state of charge at 12.1 volts at rest I decided I would set the under voltage shutdown to 12.25 volts to compensate for having the battery under load. Because the only reason for the battery voltage to increase would be because the solar charging was kicking in, I set the under voltage restart to 12.6 volts. My intention is to fine tune these settings based on the loaded and resting states as the experiment progresses, such that the value under load is equivalent to a voltage of 12.1 with the battery in a resting state. I set up the smart battery protect following the instructions with no load applied and then attached the live cable to the fuse boxes. It's all good.